The number one reason behind people not doing what they want to do is because they're concerned on what others may think. And you'll hear it a lot, especially on social media, that no one truly cares about what you do with your life. It's true, not everyone cares about what you do, but whether someone cares or not, the results are the same. No matter what you end up doing with yourself, they'll judge you. You could finally be at the highest point in your life, you got everything going for you, you finally figured it out, but one person will still say, but wait, you haven't done this. Why haven't you done this? In contrast, you could still be finding your way. You could still be trying to figure out who you truly are and people won't even take that into consideration. They'll be quicker to judge you. What I'm saying is it doesn't matter what stage you're at in your life, whether you think you're doing good or you're not doing so good at the moment, there's always going to be someone saying something in the background. And it's easy when it's just one person or maybe two people but the more people stack up, it's harder for us to put it behind us and block out that noise. But the people that actually stopped caring about what people thought about them, the people that stopped caring about judgment, are the ones that were not afraid to be themselves. You ever see somebody in real life or on social media and you thought, ah, oh, they're a bit corny or they're a bit cringy. In my point of view, that person is doing the best thing they possibly can because at least they are not afraid to be themselves. Everyone, including you, at least one point in their lives has put up this fake persona or has hidden who they truly are to try and fit in with others. What happens when you're not being true to yourself, you are neglecting who you really are. When you think that you're doing the right thing, you're fitting in, these people can't know this about you, what could they say? you are silencing your true self. And when those people find out who you really are, do you think they're gonna like, respect and love you like you thought? Of course they're not because you've made up someone that's not even real. When you're not afraid to be yourself and when you learn to appreciate who you are and you just live how you are and don't fake it, people that genuinely like you and care for you will gravitate towards you because they know you're not being fake. And look, I'm not red pill at anything. I've never been that way. But there is a reason why they say nice guys finish last. And it's not because being nice to women and being genuine to women doesn't work, because it does work. It's because a lot of the time, these nice guys are pretending to be nice. They always get found out for who they truly are and they didn't show it at first because they were scared to show who they truly were. And the bad boys or whatever you want to call them end up with that person because they are genuine. That's just how they are. There are many talented people that are fugazi that put up a nice facade for people to look at and love. But I feel like people know when you are not being genuine and when you are not true to yourself. Often I get questions on confidence or how to not care what somebody thinks about you. For the longest, I didn't really know how to answer that since it actually took me years to even build up the bit of confidence I have currently. But when I stop and realise what worked for me, it was finding out who I was. You see, a lot of people don't know themselves. They don't have ambitions, they don't have principles they follow, they don't know where their loyalties lie. Ask yourself, who am I? Who am I trying to be and who am I right now? I don't care how long it takes you to answer that question, but once you answer that question, that is your first step. You see, once you know who you are, no one else can tell you who you are. It's almost laughable to me now when somebody tries to tell me who I am. I've known who I was for a long time now. I know what I want. I know what I don't want. I know what I like. I know what I don't like. It's such an easy and simple thing that people do not do often. Talk to yourself and ask yourself questions. You need to know the answers to these things. I don't think there'll ever be a point when someone says something and you fully don't care. I feel like there's a breaking point where someone says something and it gets under your skin. You see this a lot with celebrities. You see this a lot with people in your life or people you may idolise or people you think are strong. There's always going to be something that someone says that is a trigger. The point is that nobody will ever be free of judgment. You and me are bound to some degree to care about what others think of us and say about us. The difference is the resilience 
to judgment because I am not afraid to be who I am. I am always gonna be who I am. But are you being yourself? I respect the person that is cheesy, that is corny, cringy, a little bit quirky. I respect them more than someone that is afraid to be themselves. They may not be my flavor. They may not be somebody I would personally be around, but at least they're genuine. At least they are confident enough to portray themselves as who they are. Halloween is coming up and a lot of people, maybe including you, already have a mask on. My mask is off, it's been off for a long time. I do not stunt for social media. I do not act less goofy than who I am to my loved ones. I'm not acting for anybody because what you see is what you get. And once you can get to that stage, you can take pride into who you really are. So I'm telling you to stop pretending and be yourself. That might be scary. That might be something that you're going to have to work towards. But I need you to try and be yourself. Be you. Stop trying to fit in. Stop putting up this fake persona. Because when people find out, you're going to fool and you're going to fool hard. But when you're yourself... You're going to attract the right crowd, even if it takes long. You're going to attract the right people. You will find them one day. The people that get your humor, the people that get you for you and not somebody you made up. You try something new, they're going to judge you. You're at your lowest, they're going to judge you. You're doing well, they're going to judge you. No matter what you do, they'll always judge you. So keep doing you. Once you acknowledge this, you realize that you're not doomed. This is just the true nature of how people act. This is just how people have always been. You're better than everyone that is judging you because at least you're trying to think. You're trying to do something. The people that judge you are scared to take that chance. They're scared to try. The reality is you're doing better than them in some way that they know deep down you are. It might not feel like it and you might not hear it enough, but you are doing well and I'm proud of the progress you have made. And if you want a true answer in how you can stop caring about what people think and say about you, it is to focus on your internal and stop focusing on the external. Realize your mindset matters. Realize what you tell yourself matters more than what people tell you. No one should be able to tell you who you are once you find who you are. There's always going to be noise in the background, but you'll find out that you have selective hearing. You choose what you want to hear. You choose what you want to see. There's nothing we can do to fight against judgment. But the best way to counteract judgment is to be yourself. So here's your reminder that they'll judge you no matter what you do. So keep going and keep doing you. Oh my God.